Hi, in this video I want to explain which strand of the DNA is sense and which is antisense, which is coding or non-coding, template or non-template, positive or negative. There is a lot of confusion about using this terminology and not only students confused, sometimes professors also confused. And even in scientists' articles you may see that scientists uh, may use uh, two or three terms in a row just to express uh, the same meaning in hopes that uh, a reader, if he would be confused about one term, probably he would know the second one or third one. And uh, all this confusion came from the 60s and 70s when in textbooks, uh, different textbooks, different terminology was used, um, opposite terminology for different strands of DNA. But now uh, there is not such confusions uh, on him anymore, but still uh, uh, there is uh, sometimes a lot of uh, uh, questions may arise uh, which strand name, uh, especially because each strand has three, four different names with the same meanings. So uh, let me start my explanation. And hopefully after this explanation you wouldn't have any problem to define which strain, strand of the DNA, DNA have or which name. And uh, I will show an open strand of DNA. And one strand and the second strand. And uh, here also going to be message RNA that is uh, started to be released from the one of the strand of DNA so this is M RNA and uh, most important thing that you have to know you have to be able to define what this end is and uh, if you don't know I would tell you that this is 5 prime end Message RNA always released from the 5 prime end and uh, it grows continuously from 5 prime end to the 3 prime end. So this is 3 prime end and um, this is a replication fork for the uh, this message RNA and this is uh, which way it's opened and uh, this way message RNA is released. And of course, it would be later processed by uh, ribosomes and uh, it would be translated into the proteins. So uh, now we can define all the uh, ends of the DNA. So as long as uh, here we have three prime end, then on the other strand of the DNA we have five prime end, and here going to be three prime end. And here going to be five prime end and three prime end. So now we have all the ends. We uh, labeled them. And as you see, uh, message RNA the same color as uh, this uh, DNA strand. And this is because uh, this is uh, same prime ends here, like uh, of this DNA. And also, I will explain you, uh, give you one more explanation why it is the same color on my picture. For example, if I put uh, two uh, codons here, that uh, each codon uh, code for one protein. For example, here I would put A, T, C, G, A, T. And uh, this, of course, means that on the message RNA, A would uh, make a pair with uh, uracil, thymine with adenine, cytosine with guanine, and guanine with cytosine, and adenine with uracil, and thymine with adenine. And on this strand of the uh, DNA, we also would have uh, same exactly sequence as on the message RNA, 
but instead of your cell we will have a uh, xymine that is uh, uh, your cell sub substitute uh, xymine in the message RNA so on the other strand we will have uh, uh, xymine here adenine here guanine here cytosine here xymine here and adenine here so as you see this is exactly the same sequence as uh, on the message RNA and uh, this also provide us a hint uh, and uh, I will tell you that uh, the most important thing here is message RNA that makes sense uh, because it uh, would be processed and uh, uh, translated into the protein so uh, as long as this is sense so this trend is also sense so we can put a uh, first name here so this is going to be sense strand and of course uh, uh, another strand of DNA would be antisense so let me put color here so this is going to be antisense and green would be sense and which would be coding and which would be non-coding so as you see here this code is the same like this code so this strand of uh, DNA would be coding and I would put coding here and uh, non-coding here so uh, this is going to be non-coding and green one coding and template template is very easy it's obviously that this is a pink uh, strand of the DNA so we just put um, template here and non-template here and template here and non-template here so and as you see here that uh, anti-sense and non-coding and uh, one template so this to uh, like uh, have a negative uh, meaning and one positive and here sense non-coding uh, and non-template uh, sense coding and non-template so this is one negative uh, meaning and two positive meaning so this give us uh, also that this trend is positive and this trend is negative and uh, so this is would be uh, positive and this would be negative so hopefully uh, this explanation was clear for you now you would be able to define and give the name of any strand using all this uh, six different uh, terms and even eight actually we have uh, eight uh, terms to define each of the DNA strand and uh, the most important thing I want to remind you is uh, to know the five prime end of the message RNA that is released uh, with five prime end and this uh, message RNA coding just like uh, and another strand of DNA which code is the same like uh, this one why this is why it's called coding strand and this is going to be um, template and not coding of course and negative and this is would be positive and coding and non template and sense so hopefully this was clear for you and uh, thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day uh, and that's all for today goodbye